a new rapid test for valley fever being developed right here in the valley. I'm meteorologist Ashley DiMartino. Let me show you how this will be a game changer for doctors in diagnosing the disease. Dr. Thomas Grise, a professor and co-director of microbiology at ASU, has been researching valley fever for 14 years. You know, anyone with lungs can get valley fever. Valley fever exists in our desert environment, in the top layers of our soil. When we breathe in the spores, it causes a fungal infection in our lungs. It's always been here. This is not new. Um, but w when we have more people and uh, better awareness to test more, we are finding a lot of cases. This past year, we've seen about 12,000 diagnosed cases of valley fever. It's a combination of things as to why the number of cases is on the rise. Part of this is better recognition of disease, more testing uh, to some extent, as well as more people moving to the endemic area. Dr. Grise partnered with Mayo Clinic to develop a rapid test for diagnosing valley fever. What we've done is we've taken uh, testing that we've done for many, many years, which is detecting antibodies against the fungus, and we've shortened that to 10 minutes. This means treatment can begin right away and shorten the risk of the disease spreading outside of the lungs. So how do we get the disease? The biggest risk is breathing in dust. Uh, we don't always know the time of year. We do know that some activities are a little more um, risky than others. Symptoms of valley fever mimic many illnesses like common colds, flu, and even COVID. Um, shortness of breath, a, a chronic cough, um, usually a dry cough, you're not really getting anything out, uh, fatigue, night sweats, um, headache. Two thirds of people who have valley fever don't come down with any symptoms. The rapid test will be available for doctors to use at the start of 2026, but this team's work isn't done yet. We'd really like to get to is the point of of identifying bits of the actual fungus in your samples so that we know earlier, perhaps during your disease, even before you make antibodies, that you have valley fever. Ashley DiMartino, ABC 15, Arizona.